I am dressing you, the youth, not because I overlook your parents, but rather because the future of your nations and your country will soon be in your hands. And I also find that the sense of quest for truth is more rigorous and attentive in your hearts. I would like to talk to you about Islam, particularly the image that is presented to you as Islam. Many attempts have been made over the past two decades, almost as the disintegration of the Soviet Union, to place this great religion in the seat of a horrifying enemy. I don't insist you accept my reading or any other reading of Islam. What I want to say is don't allow this dynamic and effective reality in today's world to be introduced to you through resentments and prejudices. Don't allow them to hypocritically introduce our own recruited terrorists as representatives of Islam. Receive knowledge of Islam from its primary and original sources. Gain information about Islam through the Quran and the life of its prophet. I would like to ask you whether you have directly read the Quran of the Muslims. Have you studied the teachings of the Prophet of Islam and his humane ethical doctrines? Have you ever asked yourself how and on the basis of which values has Islam established the greatest scientific and intellectual civilization of the world and raised the most distinguished scientists and intellectuals throughout several centuries? I would like you not to allow the derogatory and offensive image buildings to create an emotional gulf between you and the reality, taking away the possibility of an impartial judgment from you. Today, the communication media have removed the geographical borders. Hence, don't allow them to be CG with fabricated and mental borders. Although no one can individually fill the created gaps, each one of you can construct a bridge of thought and fairness over the gaps to illuminate yourself and your surrounding environment. Therefore, don't miss the opportunity to gain proper, correct and unbiased understanding of Islam. So that hopefully, due to your sense of responsibility, future generations will write the history of the current interaction between Islam and the West with a clearer, conscious and lesser resentment.